Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Tammy and Sid here with you. Um, as Tammy's been reporting over the last 48 hours, the Paul Bernardo story being moved from maximum security in Ontario to medium security in Quebec uh, has got everybody talking. And the latest, as Tam has also been reporting, is that the Correctional Service of Canada said its commissioner has ordered another review of the decision to move Paul Bernardo to that prison. This after a media report, not a press release, but a media report Friday told the country that this was actually happening. I know there's some young people watching us today who know that Paul Bernardo's name is in the news and don't quite get it. He is one of the worst pieces of garbage you are ever going to see in your life. Period. Full stop. Uh, he is serving a life sentence for kidnapping, torturing, killing, and some of this was videotaped. 15-year-old Kristen French and 14-year-old Leslie Mahaffey in the early 90s around St. Catharines, Ontario. He was also convicted of manslaughter in the 1990 death of his wife's 15-year-old sister, Tammy Hamulka. Uh, Correctional Service of Canada said in a statement, we understand that Canadians want to know the reasons of such transfers. Security classifications and transfers are based on risk to public safety, escape risk, and offenders institutional adjustment and other case-specific information, such as psychological risk assessments. Um, you know, Tam Tammy, you and I grew up with this story very much in the news. Mm -hmm. We followed it like a lot of people, not just in, in around southern Ontario, but the country. This is, where, where do you want to start here? Because there's a lot. Uh, I'll start with my feelings, even just watching um, some of that, the visuals back there. I was 15 at the time. Uh, so I was the same age as uh, Kristen French, Leslie Mahaffey, and uh, what, even just watching and seeing the pictures and having you recap that, I have a visceral reaction. Uh, it is of disgust. Uh, when you talk about videos, it's just of the, the things that their parents have had to go through. And if I feel that way, I think that what do her parents think? Their families think when hearing that this person has now been moved to a medium security prison and they weren't even given a heads up. They had no idea. Again, they learned when we all learned. So there was no consideration given there. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll start with that because I feel for the, the, the families uh, all around, including the Homolka family who had to deal with the death of their, their daughter, not knowing how she died really until years later. Um, I, I, I think about Carla Homolka, who is already out and has been since 2005, living a normal, quote unquote, normal life. Yeah. While these families are living in hell. And Carla Homolka is a devil and walking the streets free right now. I can comfortably say that. Um, if Paul Bernardo was black, this wouldn't be happening. No. Let's really have the conversation here. That would not be going on. I guarantee you that. Um, the communication on this. Marco Mendez, listen, I don't have a lot of sympathy for conservatives or liberals in government right now. I got beefs with both. But if Marco Mendicino, our Minister of Public Safety, isn't even given a heads up on this, who, who Correctional Services of Canada do kind of report to, they're independent, but they do report to Marco Mendicino. If he's not given a heads up, I don't, then they don't believe they owe anyone a heads up on anything. And Marco Mendicino, the liberal minister, I, he, he carries himself publicly very well, but I also believe he has some European blood in him. I hope behind closed doors he took some paint off the walls because he, he walked into a mess yesterday that he didn't deserve either. The communic I'm, used to, I'm used to bad communication, okay? The liberals with, with election interference, conservatives here in Ontario with, with the Green Belt and the Eglinton LRT, all kinds of stuff, okay? The lack of communication from Correctional Services of Canada is appalling. It is appalling for, for two main reasons. One, the second you tell society that someone like Paul Bernardo is going to a medium, medium security prison, because we've seen what happens in the justice system in this country, do not care about vic victims' families' rights, I immediately jump to, okay, so he's out in like seven years. They tried to sneak this in under the cover of night so no one noticed, and one step after another after another, and that guy is on the streets by the time I'm 55. That's the one thing I'm freaking out about, and quite frankly, every Canadian should be, because we don't get any communication 
from Correction Services of Canada because they don't believe they need to talk to us. With that said, my final thought on this is if the families, if the Mahaffey and Finch families have to sit in a courtroom and listen to the testimony and listen to the facts and watch some of the video and have to live with that for the rest of their lives, then the people at Corrections Services Canada who made this call, I don't care if it was an individual or a panel, have to get their ass in front of the media now. And they have to take questions, and if they have to sit there for 30 minutes, the Mahaffey and French families had to sit in courtrooms for a lot longer than 30 minutes, looking at hell and hearing it. This is an outrage that they think they don't owe anyone anything. And there needs to be an enema of that entity of government and how they do things, because we've had enough of this. This is not the first time our justice system has had someone under the cover of night or behind a curtain when we're not looking go, that's fine. That's fine. At some point in this country, victims' families' rights will be respected. I don't know what the hell is the problem with us, but we need to toughen up and figure stuff out and protect people who need protecting. All right? I'm not saying eye for an eye, because we're not doing that either. But at some level, respect for the families needs to be given. And to both families, we're thinking of you. We're going to take a break. More BT coming up after this.